Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Bent Metal Binding Works Solution. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with colder temps. There was fresh snow, chunder snow, icy snow, corduroy snow, and I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots on my Rome Warden board. When it comes to adjustability on this binding, you have a bunch of options. You have flip cams on the toe and the heel strap for lengthening or shortening it. You also have three pin points so you can push down the ladder and the toe strap to align it better and center it on your boot. You have a fully adjustable heel cup as well as the forward lean high back block which gives you four settings for forward lean. You have your drive plates, which you can swap out with other ones, or you can leave these ones on there. I recommend leaving these ones on there. And you also have the ability to rotate your high back by loosening the screw that holds the heel straps on and moving it forward or backwards. The heel strap on this is of that new age material, which really makes it malleable. It contours to the boot better. It's not gonna stretch. It's not gonna break down. It's just gonna hold its shape better. Same thing with the toe strap. What I like about these is that as they're not so malleable, you don't have to worry about them breaking down. They contour better and they lock down. You also minimize the amount of padding in there so you get a more optimal fit between the binding and the boot. The toe strap, while it is a solid piece in there, the rubber in there actually has give to it so it will contour around any boot shape and lock you down. Or if you're one of those old school guys or someone that doesn't know better, you could still rock it up over the top. Why you would do that, I have no idea, but some people still do. The ratchets do their job and they do it well. You can, they climb, they're easy to use. I never had any problems with them sticking. The only thing that I noticed was the one finger quick release on the heel strap. The tab could be a little bit longer. I just ended up grabbing the ratchet right by the front and releasing it that way. I mean, if you're gonna have a one finger quick release tab, make it a little bit longer and also put it on the toe strap as well for the ratchet. That way it just makes it uniform. So one isn't just grab it by the front, the other one has that. That's kind of my only gripe. Otherwise, as I said, these worked exceptionally well. They climbed well, they stayed locked in. I never worried about them releasing or anything like that. So the high back is stiff. Even with the cutout, you do get a little bit of lateral play in there when you push into that slight wing. It's still stiff. You can feel it in there. You do have that forward lean block right there to adjust your forward lean, which gives you four settings if you need that type of stuff. But overall, this is a stiffer high back when you push into it you will feel it there. It cradles because of the large cutout of it, the back of your boot perfectly. And when you engage into it, you feel it and it works exactly as you would want. The binding flex on this is stiff. This binding is very, very stiff. It is meant to be a high end charging binding. This is the stiffest drive plate that they have. You notice that it's very rigid. It does not have any lateral give to it. Overall, the whole binding is stiff. Putting it on a Rome Warden, probably not the best idea, but I wanted to see how powerful this binding was, and it is very, very powerful. So if you're looking for a charging binding, there you go. So the overall feel of this binding is powerful yet twitchy. I think a lot of that twitchiness comes from the fact that it does have a mini disc, so you've got to minimize dead spot. So when you use any of that, power in this binding, you feel it instantaneously. Like you drive into your toe, it's like boom, you're there. Put it into your heel, there. Go into some lateral flex, trying to drive into the board, you're going to feel it. Overall, it's a very powerful and responsive binding. The harder you drive into it, the more power you actually feel from it. So who's this binding for? The powerhouse free ride guy that wants to just drive into their binding and needs something that's highly responsive. Overall, this is probably too much binding for me for everything that I do, but I wanted to see how it would ride, and it's it's responsive. It's very, very responsive. It's very powerful. You notice that right away. It's aggressive, so if you're one of those guys that needs an aggressive binding, this is one to definitely be looking at. This has been my review of the Bent Metal Binding Works solution. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not gonna miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And 
If you really want to support us and just help us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefevre, and I'll see you in another video.